What's going on YouTube? Got another knife review here for you. Today we're going to be looking at the Zero Tolerance 0770 CF version. Uh, this is the, uh, not the base level of, this, of the 770, um, but the base level of the carbon fiber version um, marked by the fact that it has LMAX steel on this one. Uh, there are, if I'm not mistaken, two other versions of the CF version. Uh, and basically, it's just difference in blade steel. So you have a upgraded version with M390, and then I believe a sprint version that had CPM M4 uh, blade steel on there. That's one of my uh, all-time favorite steels in terms of performance and, and edge holding. So I had really good experience with that. Um, on this knife, you have, I think, about 100 thou to 110 thou thick uh, blade stock. Uh, it's a three and a quarter inch blade um, with this kind of modified kind of sheep's foot worn cliff uh, blade, if you will. Uh, two basically solid carbon fiber scales, no liners. Uh, there is a, a little metal, uh, so you can see the lock bar right there. It's a steel lock bar and it's just um, kind of like a, I guess, nested liner lock is what they call them getting all my terminology wrong now or mistaken sometimes um, and then inside on the presentation scale is a little uh, steel lining to house the torsion bar the speed safe bar that this knife comes with so this is a speed safe uh, assisted blade um, but this one has been de assisted you can see that um, you know it's got its own detent and so it flips out just fine with the button push, light uh, light switch flicking is going to be a little, little harder. So I, I button push it. Um, I'm typically a push button type flipper, um, so it works just fine uh, for this blade. Uh, it's got a, I don't know if it's aluminum or a Delrin type um, backspacer in there, but it's not titanium. It's nothing really special. Uh, might just be kind of like plastic and then right there you got a little lanyard uh, pin that you can wrap your lanyard around if you wanted to. And then a moderately deep carry pocket clip um, reminiscent of say the uh, ZT0801 but it is a smaller pocket clip um, so the profile of it's not going to stand out as much. And this is, you know, this is a really slim knife. Uh, for EDC carry, a uh, great slicing knife, uh, given it its relatively thin uh, bevel at the end, and then the fact that the blade stock is so thin, um, it definitely is a very sharp slicer. Obviously, this blade is modeled after the Zero Tolerance uh, Zero Triple Seven. Uh, this is a clone from China, I know. Um, but you know, Triple Sevens are pretty much impossible to get without paying. Uh, the insane secondary prices. I think when I saw one at my local store, it was over eight to nine hundred dollars, if I'm not mistaken. You know, and that's kind of, and that wasn't like the Damascus one. This was just the M390 version. So it's pretty insane. Uh, I did get to handle the Triple Seven, and it's an amazing knife in terms of the quality build, uh, fit and finish, uh, <coughs> the flipping action is so smooth um, such a light knife for how much you get and um, so again you know it's a fantastic knife and the 0770 you know is made to model after this knife all the curves the ergonomics for the most part are going to be the same you know the difference of a titanium deep carry pocket clip which you know the verdict from what I've seen is you know not many people like this clip it looks sharp um, but it wasn't a great functioning clip. Um, has the, you know, almost like the sand dollar type uh, style pivot. Um, so the 770 has that same style pivot on there. And it's just a Torx, uh, I believe, 8 screw or 6 screw uh, that secures it in place. So other than that, um, relatively uh, full flat grind. You got a little flat here so that you can secure it in your sharpener um, but uh, yeah aside from that I mean the, you know the triple seven has a subframe lock whereas uh, the 770 has the nested liner lock now um, here you have it in comparison to the slightly larger blur you know, the blur has a three and three eighths inch 
blade, so 3.375. Again, this is 3.25. Um, here you have it measured up against the Jason Browse Silent Soldier. You know, different, very different feel, uh, feeling blade. The, the Silent Soldier is a very thick blade stock, um, very secure in hand. But it is a small blade. And then, of course, as always, you got it matched up against the Chris Reeve uh, Sabenza 21 uh, large. So you can see how the size you know matches up against this. You know, if you're looking for you know a quality production EDC um, slicer, you know this is a really great option. This one from most of the knife stores, uh, Knife Center or Blade HQ, GP, they're all you know comes out at 180. Um, the M390 version comes out at 220, uh, and then if you were to drop down to say the aluminum version, which is just a 770, uh, that one also has LMAX steel, so the same steel, just less exotic materials. That one I think comes out to be about around 125. So um, you know, really good options, relatively cheap in terms of what you're paying for. You know, blur with uh, I mean, they have LMAX sprints and whatnot, but the standard blur, you know, is going to be Sandvik steel. I think it comes out to be 50 or so, uh, 50 to 60 dollars, and then the S30V version, uh, I think, is around 75 to 80 dollars. So, I mean, you kind of get what you pay for and whatnot, you know. Um, the blur is typically not going to have carbon fiber, uh, whereas on this one, you do have full slabs of carbon fiber that are extremely strong, um, extremely light, and then, you know, it's really, it's really good looking, so, um, yeah, I mean, other than that, I think I mentioned, you know, with the speed safe, it, it's not necessary on this knife, um, sometimes, you know, when I did have the speed safe torsion bar uh, installed in here, even though it's fun to flip, after a while, because there's so much torque on the flip, uh, it would kind of knock the screw out, um, it start kind of um, loosening a little bit, and then uh, you'd have to find a Torx driver to, you know, tighten it back up and, and all those things. So, um, because the detent is pretty strong on here, you know, um, it, it's it you're able to build up a lot of potential energy in that flip, and then it just flips right out. You know, no, there's no blade play. I mean, a little, tiny little bit of side to side. I can tighten it if I wanted to. Absolutely no up and down um, blade play whatsoever. So it's a very secure knife. Ergonomics feels great in the hand. Uh, those of you that have handled the 777 um, or you know or even handled this knife you know you realize how ergonomic it is. Um, it's so thin it sits very well in the pocket um, and just disappears. So you get this much that sticks out of your pocket which is essentially nothing. So you don't have much to grab on but you know, if you did want to have a lanyard loop in there, um, then you could go that route and pulling the knife out. So overall, I think it's just a, a great um, option as a small EDC. Uh, here you have it, um, one lasting, you know, against a small Insingo. So you get a slightly, um, about a little over a quarter inch blade, uh, more than the Insingo, small. And uh, you can see how the blade profile is very similar, right there, how it matches up. So that curve, that belly, you know, you get that extra quarter inch of blade right there. Um, it's pretty nice. So the Sabenza, again, is going to have a slightly thicker stock. Um, and, you know, the bevel on the Sabenza is not that thin. Um, so in terms of slicing-wise, uh, this would make a much better slicer. Um, for pretty much two times less than, than a Sabenza. So anyway, those are some options that you guys have out there. Um, but that's my quick take on the ZT0770 uh, uh, CF version. Um, check it out if you get a chance. It's a great knife, uh, especially if you're in the middle stages of collecting and, and whatnot. This is a pretty cool option. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, I'll see you guys on the next vid. Take care.